And actually, Cruiser was named for, for an oil addict. He had nothing to do with, with uh, pharmacology at all. But from that, I went on the ethyl compound, the propyl DOET, DOBR, and then the, oh, the simple things like the halides, DOB, bromo, DOC, toporo, DOI, iodine compounds, all extremely potent and all very long-lived. About this point, I got quite interested in going back to the phenethylamines and did that and took the extra methyl group off the chain and since they were the two carbon analogs of these, these rather potent uh, deal, deal compounds, I call them 2Cs for 2-carbon. Two and this led to a whole host of other compounds like 2CB, 2CB for 2C, 2-carbon two bromo, 2CI, 2C, all, a whole family that got carried away with the sulfur compounds, they called them for sulfur, they're thio compounds, 2CT, 2, 3, 4, 7, I went to about 25 or so. Uh, and many of them are active in very potent compounds. All of these were less potent than the three carbon materials, but all of them were shorter lived, faster onset, and they, you could get out of them in a matter of a few hours instead of having to wait until the next day. So these, these became quite, quite interesting areas of exploration. Uh, there were, uh, now we have things like what we call the flies. Uh, these are compounds that are three ring systems, phenethylamine with two rings hooked on either side of it. Compounds that I call also the dragonflies, which are the ones that are aromatic. And these materials are orally active. No, the dragonflies are not there correctly. But the, uh, the non dragon ordinary flies are orally active, and the potencies are less than a milligram. So here are a new, whole new sub subdivision of the phenethylamines uh, that are, are very interesting and are very worth exploring. The other, other side of the coin is the area of the tryptamines. The DMT became the starting material of a host. I mentioned the Stephen Zara's work with the ethyl and the propyl, the butyl. But the compounds extended now into a branch chain things. I made a number of methyl isopropyls. Repke made a number of other comparable analogs. A number of our chemical allies were all working together, making these various things and exploring them amongst one, one another. Uh, the compounds with the silos and psilocybin are, are the tryptamines with the hydroxy group in the four position. And all the compounds of branch chain DMTs with the hydroxy group there are orally active. And the beauty of it is, uh, by esterifying that hydroxy group, we make the acetone compounds that are even more potent and are faster onset and shorter lived. And many of them are very, very, uh, quite free of, of, of physical disruption and uh, uh, toxic symptomology. Another group that's very, very interesting was the groups with the 5 methoxy group. Uh, the 5 methoxy on the tryptamines is where the 4 hydroxy is on the phenethylamines, it is the point of manipulation. You put that methoxy group in the 5 position, 5 methoxy DMT is known uh, nature, I did not mention before, it's found in some plants, it's also found in some uh, uh, frog venoms. The idea of frog smoking became quite popular a few years ago. You take the venom off of Bufo uh, uh, alvarius and make a little ball of it and smoke it. A very, very dramatic turn on and became very popular in the term of smoking frogs. Um, these uh, five methoxies are more potent. Again, other than the diamethyl, they are all orally active, and there must be some 15 or 20 of these that have been explored clinically and in, our, in the literature. So, altogether, uh, uh, I would say comfortably with 100, over 100 phenethylamines and uh, something like 50 or more tryptamines. I would say, as of the present time, there are probably 200 psychedelic drugs that are known to be active in man. Uh, this, this is, a lot of this is very well recorded. I would recommend strongly, if you're not familiar with the location of Arrowhead, E-R-O-W-I-D. Arrowhead is a remarkable site for information, good and bad, about many of these drugs. They are receivers of many uh, anonymous uh, statements about drugs, uh, their potency, new drugs, their activities, uh, the goods and the bads, a lot of it is, is fiction and is uh, fraud. A lot of it is very real and very valid. And you have to use judgment. They are very good at using judgment, whether to accept or not accept a given statement about a new chemical as being toxic or interesting or a turn on or dangerous or curious uh, to try. So I recommend strongly the uh, search of the, of the system of heroin. Good. Uh, basically, that's where we are now. I mentioned that the, uh, a lot of materials are being done. I know of materials being worked on here in Europe, uh, some in Sweden, uh, some in Switzerland, 
uh, some in Spain, uh, some in England, some in northern Germany, right around here. People are in continual communication uh, with me about what they're doing, what they have found out, what, they have, what they're doing, what they have found out, and uh, ask questions. I turn the information over to Arab, if it's appropriate. I try to stay away from anything that we, could be interpreted as being uh, working together with someone who's in the business of making drugs for sale, the internet system availability of drugs is staggering. But uh, this, I have, no, I have no wish to get anywhere near the contact of this. But I do know that there is an ever-increasing number of these being explored and being shared amongst friends. We have now, if we had two, uh, two drugs known in 1900, and 20 drugs known in 1950 and 60, and 200 drugs known today, we are in the exponential, exponential growth to, to 20 to 200 every 50 years. So I would say without any hesitation that in the year 2050, which I will probably not see, but you very well might see, I'd be a great, say, a great confidence there will be 2,000 psychedelic drugs known to be active in man. And I see no idea, no, I have no hesitations, but believe me, you'll get even more involved and more complex after that. So it's a, it's a growing, growing area of interest. I find a fascinating interest in area. And uh, I want to say very much of the rest of what's going on. Thank you very much.